Hey guys! Um, my name is Georgia and this is my first video. Today we're gonna focus on the ridiculous shit that my dad says. For you guys who don't know me, I'm Greek and I grew up with Greek parents who say some pretty crazy insane things. So I'm gonna share a few of the things with you today. Here we go! Sleepovers. We were not allowed to sleep over anyone's house. My dad would watch a lot of America's Most Wanted. He had all these things like ideas in his mind. These were his reasons. You have your own bed to sleep in. What if there's a fire? What if their parents are murderers? What are the odds that the parents are gonna be murderers? Half the people whose houses I wanted to sleep over were related to us. But oh, no, 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 you have your own bed to sleep in. I don't know, he's weird. Moving along, pets. My parents don't believe in having pets. A cat or a puppy or anything that could walk or walk around their house, they were like, no. Everyone, everyone knew I wanted a dog, everybody. I was a little girl who would go outside and like tie string to my stuffed animals and like drag it down the street. Oh, I'm just walking my dog, my pretend dog, so I'm not allowed to have one. I tried so hard to persuade my parents to let me have a puppy. Be like, Dad, like, why can't I have a dog? Like, you guys had dogs. Yeah, in the Horyo, the village, um, yeah, we had cats, dogs, you know, but they were for other purposes. To guard the house, to herd our sheep, to get rid of the mice. You had one. Like, can I have one? Dogs! Poop outside. Uh, I'm not going to want to step in it. Ooh, ooh, punishments. We were never grounded. My dad believed in just smacking the shit out of us and then kind of sending us to our room. It's, it's like a 24 hour thing and then it's over. Like we'd just get smacked or hit with like random objects. All my foreign kids, wherever you're at, like you understand. One time, my little sister, there was a point in time where all she wanted to do was watch TV and play computer games. So in our basement, we had a TV and we had a computer and that's where she spent all her time. He got mad, he grabbed her, put her down in the basement, closed the door, if this is all you like to do, you can do it forever down there. Watch as much as TV and play as many computer games as you want. Also, our basement door doesn't lock. So he stood there for like an hour holding the door. Like, and my sister's like, <laughs> let me in. Eventually he let her out. Another time. I, w I was a picky eater when I was little. I was playing like on our chairs. We had like these little things on our chairs. They would come off. He was already in a shitty ass mood. And I had left like my suitcase full of toys in the middle of the kitchen. And he kept saying like, eat your food, like eat your dinner, stop playing. And I was like, no. And he's like, eat your food. I'm like, no. My poor sister got up and she tripped over my Cinderella suitcase full of my toys and broke her plate. And my dad got so pissed that he picked up my bowl of pasta and put it on top of my freshly washed hair. So now I had cheese, like, just hanging, like, on top of my face. My mom had to go back upstairs and wash my hair, scrape out all the cheese and, like, meat sauce, which I'm sure was fun for her. Ooh, feminine hygiene. I had been shaving my legs. Like, I was a very, I still am a very hairy person. My leg hair was so long. In sixth grade, I'd look at my friends, and I had foreign friends, but still, like, my hair was longer. When I was a sophomore in high school, I didn't drive yet, so I'm like, Dad, can you take me to CVS? What do you need from CVS? Like, I need to get razors, deodorant, and, like, shaving cream. Wait, wait, wait. You shave? What do you shave? My legs? Like, my underarms? It... <laughs> No, 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 I don't think so. Why don't you just go natural? Do you know what my legs look like natural? On my under- No, no, no! Like, Dad, I've been shaving for like five years. What? How come I didn't know? First time I got my period, I was hating life. I was miserable. I was laying on the couch eating my Halloween candy. My dad randomly walks by. Uh, you're a woman now, and uh, there are things you need to do to your body, and... Things you shouldn't do. Please, Dad, leave me alone. I get it. Like, just don't talk to me about it. Okay, uh, congratulations. For what? 
wearing socks. He has this like obsession where your feet need to be covered or you're gonna hear about it and lecture you for three and a half hours. You're walking around barefoot again. You're gonna get a cold. Everything comes from your feet. If your feet are exposed, you will get a cold. Put socks on your feet. Oh, yeah, there you go again, walking around barefoot. If you're barefoot one more time, I'm going to throw thumbtacks on the floor so you can step on them. So one time, they started talking to me. You know, Yuria, um, the Greeks back in the day, they were in battle, in war. They would stab each other, kill each other, and there'd be blood, blood, so much blood falling from the from their bodies down to the floor. They'd be walking on it, you soldiers of our people. It'd be so slippery. They'd do it for our country. You know why they were able to have traction, to walk through the dirt, and the bodies, the blood. No, like why? Because they were wearing shoes. He went and told me a story for like 30 minutes about wearing shoes. And here I am, I thought it was some historical story just to bring it around to tell me to wear shoes on my feet. He likes your feet to be covered, so if you ever come to my house, make sure you're wearing shoes. Going out. Going out anywhere will always be an issue. As we're walking out the door, all the time. Where are you going? I'm, I'm going to CVS. Oh, where are you going? Giant, like do you need anything? No. Where are you going? at my friend's house. Why don't you go to your grandmother's house? Where are you going? Dinner with a few friends. Why don't you take your grandparents out to dinner? Where are you going? We're going out to Greek night, Dad. Greek night? Why don't you take your grandmother to Greek night? Hey, why don't you guys do something constructive with your life? Why don't you pick up basket weaving? Why don't you do some needle pointing? Why don't you needle point? Uh, yeah, uh, maybe I will. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, oh my God. He does it every single time. <laughs> Where are you going? Ooh, electronics. My dad has no idea how to use anything. I'm, I'm like sleeping. Like he'll call our names. Yana, Yana. She doesn't answer. Yoria, Yoria. What dad? Uh. Are you sleeping? Uh, I was. Can you help me? I'm like, yeah, what's wrong? How do I turn this thing on? In my mind, I'm like, how long has he been sitting here trying to figure out how to turn it on? You press this button right here. Oh, okay. Uh, don't leave. Uh, I need you to help me uh, write an email. It's 12 o'clock in the morning, Dad. Oh, it's okay. It's not going to take long. I'm like, how do you know? You didn't even know how to turn on the, the computer. So another thing, this was, and this happened the other day. My dad woke me up in the middle of the night. Yuria! What? Turn on the dryer. Wh why don't you do it? You're, da you're right there. Uh, I don't know how. Is, did he really just tell me to, he doesn't know how to turn on the dryer? He doesn't know how to turn on the dryer. The dryer, where it gives you, on the little dials, it says everything you can do. On, off, <laughs> turn it 40 minutes. Oh my god, I don't know why I didn't even think of this. Sports. So I played a lot of sports growing up. My dad used to come support me at all my games. He, he played soccer, he was really good in soccer. If he came to my soccer game, oh dear god. Even though I can't see him, I knew exactly where he was. He'd sit by himself like on the bleachers in the corner. I'd get the ball and all I would hear is, Trixie! Trixie! Run! That's what it means. Run! I ran! My coach sometimes would be like, whose parents are yelling? Oh my god. Every time after the game, I'd get a lecture. He'd give me notes on what to do. Rayurgia, if there's green in front of you, run! What are you doing standing there? Take the ball and go to the, go to the goal! Okay, Dad, but my coach says we gotta be a team player. Forget your coach doesn't know shit! Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up, like it, share it. I'll see you guys later. Bye! Oh.